You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Pretty darn good. Talk's just, uh, you know, the clock is just uh, ticking. And yeah, it's really just, my goodness gracious, before we know it. And I mentioned this, I think, a week ago. Uh, we're going to have a day pretty soon where the sun doesn't set till around seven o'clock. I know. At night instead of at noon, which it's, it's been doing for it months now. It doesn't set at noon. <laughs> pretty sure it's setting at noon. I don't think so. And you're, we're already at the middle of February. I know. Now. We're halfway through the month. Over halfway. Yeah. Yesterday was the halfway mark. So yeah. it's like a, Crazy. Uh, Stay positive. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Happy yeah, birthday to a Joyce Frankenberg. Yay. Hey, old Joycey is 71. Today we know her better as actress Jane Seymour. Oh, yeah. Dr. Yeah. Quinn, medicine woman. I always thought she seemed like a nice lady. And holy cow, can you believe it's been 25 years already since, I can't believe uh, it. since his passing? Chris Farley. Oh, wow. Oh, holy cow, 25 years. Yeah. I watched really? a documentary on that like a week and a half ago. Just a all around pretty, pretty neat guy. He was only 33 was, years uh, old. Yeah, he would have been uh, 58 today. That's yeah. it. The, the documentary I watched uh, was his three brothers sitting at a restaurant that he would go to, and they ordered what he would order, and uh, and it was he just seemed like a neat guy, and the, the you can tell his brothers absolutely adored him. Yeah, big heart and uh, big personality. So yeah. Chris uh, Farley birthday today, uh, businessman inventor Alfred Carlton Gilbert, born this day, he invented. And I love this. He invented the erector set. Oh, yeah. Yeah, which I came across and I noticed. Uh, I actually uh, went and visited my daughter and, and my grandkids a while back. Yeah. <clears throat> my three-year-old granddaughter's favorite movie yeah. is Sandlot. Oh. Loves that film. And yeah, they the erector set plays a little part in that it movie. It does, to go fetch a ball. Try to retrieve the uh, Babe Ruth baseball. Yeah. Yeah. So... There you go. And without Sandlot, we would not have the phrase, you're killing me, Small. True story. That's our phrase. That is your our phrase. Our last name is Small, by the way. You guys have shirts, wonder. bumper stickers. Yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> crazy <laughs> monuments. Yeah. Monuments. Monuments. So I'm going gonna, gonna to do an interview with the guy that says, you're killing me, Smalls. Why not? I'm going to reach out. Let's see. Where to go here in history? Kind of all over the map. Some big things going on. But up, up, up. Let's start 2005 this very day. A little internet site. Allowing folks to post and share videos is launched in the U.S. We call it YouTube. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where would we be without kitten videos? I, I know. don't know. <laughs> We'd all be probably getting a lot more work and that, done. To me, that is all any social media platform should do. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. What's your pet up to? Uh, let's see. 1936, Madman Adolf Hitler announces construction and manufacture of his little pet project, which he called the people's car, the oh. Volkswagen Beetle. Yes. In case you don't know, that was Hitler's puppy. Yep, Isn't I that, knew that. He and uh, Mr. Porsche worked together to build that. Mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, and really what's ironic about it is uh, Hitler does this thing, the Volkswagen Beetle, and it becomes the most popular van and vehicle during the hippie era in the United yeah. States. Kind of the opposite of what you would expect. Irony, irony, and so is this. It was this day in 1992. This was nuts. Dateline, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Jeffrey Dahmer is found totally sane and totally guilty of killing 15 young men. But I have heard so many attorneys over the years going, you know, using the insanity defense is really tough to pull off. It just really, really really is. But you look at this case. dog agrees. (laughs) I think the people involved here, here's Jeffrey Dahmer. He literally offs all these guys. Yeah. Then he's like running experiments on drilling holes in their heads. He's trying to reanimate them, turn them into living like love slaves. He was? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. He was trying like Frankenstein stuff. Wow. Bring it back up. So you're looking at this, you're boiling this down, and I guess the people in the room weighing the insanity defense are going, well, who hasn't thought of that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally no one else. That's not crazy. That's he's just, uh, he's okay. perfectly, <laughs> this is a level-headed young man. Kind of crazy. Okay, it's very crazy. <laughs> So wow. Just, uh, pretty, pretty fascinating stuff. Well, <laughs> gosh darn it, I know. You know. Just a regular fella. <laughs> wonder if you can babysit the kids on Saturday. <laughs> Jeez. And you know, we all know we all 
Move ahead here. Going to do that. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. The Vegas Travel Center is offering three days and two nights accommodations to Vegas. They'll completely waive the package price. Plus, you get tickets to your choice of activities as well as meals. Jump on this now. Obviously, a deal like this isn't going to last. When they're gone, they're gone. So don't miss out. Just call 605-210-5220, and they'll get you set up for a great getaway. Call now for this special radio offer, 605-210-5220. That's 605-210-5220. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine and Sioux Falls. They'll brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. We're going to brighten your day right now with some positive news. I've got a young man on the phone. I think this is such a neat thing. I've got Jack Unruh joining me, and he's got a show that just recently recently started here. I think we're doing episode number three. It's called Late Night Boomin'. And this Thursday, the 17th, is this the third episode that you're filming? Yes, this is the third one at the Washington Pavilion. Now, if people want to come and watch you film this, they can actually come and be a part of the live studio audience, right? That's right. Anyone, it's a free show. You're welcome to come on in and, and see the show. We've got a lot of action. We've got some great guests. We've got Jimmy Weber, who is a singer and veteran will be performing for us and talking with us and we've also got magician travis nye uh to do some really cool tricks for us totally free it's family friendly so bring all your pals and come enjoy the show and that's all coming up on thursday and uh, again this is something that you guys have this will be the third one where did the idea come from to do late night boom and this is a really fun thing you know it's one of them things where you get an idea while you're out mowing the lawn and you're just like, hey, that could work, you know? And I, I was out on the lawn right before I was about to go to college and, and thought, you know what? I love me some Jimmy Fallon, some Conan O'Brien. Let's do our own late night show right here in Sioux Falls. And so, you know, it's really kind of developed into the into this. And the Lord has blessed us with a great team. And, and uh, we're really excited to be doing our third show now. And, and we just love to see people come on out and enjoy it with us. And the young man that I'm talking to is Jack Unruh. You just turned 21. You're a very young guy. And then you've got uh, another a co-host, Zach Dresch, one of my favorite people on the planet, another young guy. So a couple of young people taking the initiative and doing a fun show. I love this. That's right. He's the guy. He cracks me up. We have such a great team. We've got him. He's the co-host. We've got um, Chuck Case and the Late Night Boomers. We've got a, an incredible band. We've got a live band uh, that plays music there. And so there's really something for everybody at this show. And for people who've not yet had a chance to see an episode, where do they go to find it? Like if they want to watch the, the first and second edition, where do they find that? Yeah, so we're all over. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook, Instagram. We just got a TikTok. Um, but you can just type in Late Night Boomin' and you'll find us on any social media platform. And when they get on there, there's uh, the the program. And then I just recently watched one where you guys were at Remedy Brewing. And I, I was laughing because it was so funny. Uh, I like how during the uh, the scene, every time it would cut to Zach, he had another article of clothing on. So he's wearing a scarf, and then he's got a hat, and he's got glasses, and he's got a beard. And I just thought that was funny. And, and that's before you turned 21, so they wouldn't even let you uh, sip a, a little taste of it. No, no, it was... Three days before I turned 21, we filmed that, and we thought it would be so funny, and those guys were great over there. They let us film, and and Zach, oh my goodness, literally, we we included bloopers in the clip. I couldn't stop laughing. We couldn't (laughs) film the final scene, because I couldn't stop laughing, because he was cracking me up. Well, Zach is such a funny guy, and then also when he was talking, his beard kept falling off. That was, again, (laughs) again, in the bloopers. I laughed at the bloopers so hard. Oh my goodness, it's such a fun time. I don't know how we're going to make anything serious with and, and the uh, I'm doing air quotes here. The police officer that was on there, Reed Baxter, also a local yeah. comic that's a very funny guy. I love his line when he's he's handcuffing himself to you and he goes, I don't have a key for these. <laughs> yeah. He's so funny. He just came up with some of that stuff on the fly. And, and uh, it's been really cool doing this because we've been introduced to the comedy community. And I've seen you do a couple sets too and i've seen some really funny really funny people and so it's been really awesome just the people that we've been meeting through this whole thing as well if somebody would like to get more information about late night boom and where do they go to find you guys online and maybe follow you on on social medias yeah so that's that's how we keep you updated you can follow us online um you can get updates for all our shows and see all the latest clips uh youtube facebook instagram um just type in late night booming and then hit that follow button smash the subscribe button and, and you'll be in the loop with us. And we want you to come and experience it with us. And, and this Thursday is your chance to do that. This Thursday, the 17th of February, you can go and watch a live taping of Late Night Boomin'. And do I need to get a ticket in advance or I just show up? You just 
show up at the door and find yourself a seat and have a good time. And it's at the Washington Pavilion, and I would love for that place to be so full that next next month you need to have a ticket. That would that would be awesome. Let's pack it out. All right, it's, up twice. it's coming up this Thursday. Uh, get out there and join them. Jack, thank you for taking the time to chat. I appreciate it a bunch. Thank you. You guys are the best. Well, we, we enjoy, again, Late Night Boomin'. I'm going to put a link on our page to make it easy to find. So if you can't find them online, you'll, you'll find a link at facebook.com slash sunny radio and facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. It's Bernie Carrick, former New York City Police Commissioner. If you own a gun, you need to check out StopBoxUSA.com, the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home and get instant, reliable access to that gun. It's an awesome weapon retention product, especially if you have little kids at home or frequent visitors. Get access to your gun in under a second. Stop Box is the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home. Use discount code RADIO to save 10% at StopBoxUSA.com. You need to check out StopBoxUSA.com. And now Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Tuesday? You know, you guys are our big movie buffs. Certainly yeah, far bigger than I am. Every now and again, yeah. I see a movie. and But over the years, you end up with, you know what? I really like that actor. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or I really like that actor. Don't really care for that actor or whatever. Yeah, whatever. yeah I got a whole list of them. Well, the people at uh, Stacker recently filed some uh, data having to do with who are America's favorite actors. We're okay. just talking about the guys here. I have my list right here. I bet you do. And maybe some are on the list. I boiled it down to actually the top ten. And some folks that are also uh, also mentioned. Should I write some down to see <clears throat> if I'm on the same page? No. No, maybe some of these you may agree with. Maybe not. Again, it's you know we it's art, so it's pretty subjective. Tom Hanks is be on there. Or why you like it? But this was uh, weighed out from actual surveys, boiling it down to an initial group, what people really think based on positive slash negative responses, and also how much uh, like online traffic these particular. Actors have gotten past. Greg Kinnear better be on that list. He's a good dude. Here's your top 10 going from number 10 to number one most popular actors in the United States. At number 10 is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah, I can see that. Number nine, Sean Connery. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see that too. Really? Still on that list. Nice. Heidi, this one's for you at number eight, Michael J. Fox. Oh, I love him. Bruce Willis clocks in at number seven. Oh, yeah, I see all these. Who doesn't like Bruce, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Will Smith at number six. Better be a Harrison Ford yeah. coming soon. Number five, Morgan Freeman. Oh, I love Morgan oh, Freeman. Oh, yeah. Number four. I want him to read me bedtime stories. That would be kind of nice. Yeah. You know, and you see that thing sometimes on Facebook. is like, if somebody could voice the soundtrack to your life, right. who would it be? But it can't be Morgan Freeman. Right, because like, everybody still, says Morgan Freeman. It's going to be Morgan Freeman. Yeah. I want Sam Kinison for oh, me. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. It would have been good. Right. Gilbert Godfrey for me, all the way. <laughs> At number four, favorite actors in America, Harrison Ford, John, oh, yeah. number four. Ooh. Followed by number three, Tom Hanks. I figured he'd be on there, yeah. Number two slot, Denzel Washington. I love, I Denzel. love Denzel. <clears throat> you will not guess the number one, but take a shot. Ooh. Ryan Reynolds. Okay, John. So, oh, man, is it? K- Kino Reads? It's not. Oh. It's Robin Williams. Oh, really? Yep. Oh. Ah. Okay. Robin Williams. Okay. Uh, oh. Also mentioned in uh, top 20, Robert Downey Jr., Clint Eastwood. Love Downey Jr. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve Martin. Oh, yeah. Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, this one will surprise you. Andy Griffith. Oh, really? I love him. Super popular. And of course, uh, well, the man I've had a long, long, long time bromance with, one of my best friends, our friendship is legendary, Keno Reads. <laughs> so Keanu was on the list? He was just in the top ten. Just a little ten. further yeah. down. He's on the list, but he didn't make the top ten. Yeah. So, there you go. He continues well, to go. claim that he knows Keno Reads, and I don't think he does. You don't know that I don't know Keno Reads. <laughs> we do know a guy named no. Keno Reads. You, just, you don't, know. Not Keanu you don't Reeds. know where I've been, man. I you don't. don't know me. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> you don't know me, buddy. <laughs> All right. Hey, Dan, thanks for coming in. Hey, man. thanks for letting me. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, it is the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. At BetterCreditCards.com, our mission is to help you get a better credit card. Why pay more interest than you need to? We have cards with amazing points and perks. If you're not a point person and just want the lowest interest rate, you can find those too at BetterCreditCards.com. You can also find credit cards designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. 
Equities retreated Monday, extending the sell-off that began last week in the wake of the CPI report. The selling is driven in part by fears of rising inflation, in part by fears of FOMC activity after so long without, and in part by geopolitical fear centered on Russia and Ukraine. The threat of war could destabilize the already overstrained global supply chain, but it looks like the powers that be will continue to talk for now while Putin slowly builds his forces along the border. This week, the PPI data will be in sharp focus as it is expected to accelerate on a month-to-month basis. The consensus is for producer-level prices to rise 0.5% on top of the previous month's 0.2% and put the year-over-year increase even closer to double digits. The risk for the market is that the PPI will come in above consensus and increase the expectations for a 50 basis point interest rate hike at the March FOMC meeting. You can get the inside track in your inbox at marketbeatminute.com.